Personalized medicine is the current new challenge to improve high medical efficiency, good quality of life for patients and acceptable costs for the society. The Department of Urology at Hospital Tenon in Paris aims to provide personalized and highly specialized healthcare for urological conditions such as cancer, stone or prostatic disease, or reconstructive surgery for kidney, bladder, or sexual male dysfunction. The research laboratories are members of the Institute of Cancer and of the Institute of Technology managed by the University. Through this integrative platform, we are able to provide for the patient individual advice and personalized therapeutic approach. Your integrative and transactional approach for telehealth management is well illustrated by urinary stone. In, in these departments, we, we do everything in terms of urology. From my side, I develop endourology. For kidney stones, of course, we are able to develop um, the different technologies, including uh, flexible ureteroscopy, PCNL, and shockwave lithotripsy. So it's a very comprehensive uh, treatment in terms of uh, surgical activities. We train uh, many people in, in, in this department. Of course, we have a, a residency program, it's the national program, but we have also the possibility to train fellow in endourology, and this fellowship is actually recognized by the Endourological Society. We also do uh, a medical management of each stone patient. It means that we do a metabolic evaluation, we do stone uh, analysis, and we do also um, an evaluation of the, the diet. Most of the patients are referred to the unit by uh, the Stone Center. Our goal is first to, uh, to see them uh, in order to, to uh, define uh, what are the stone risk factors, especially uh, the diet risk factors. We have the ability to perform crystalluria, which is a very powerful exam to better assess the stone risk, but also to identify the stone composition when we don't have stone available for uh, analysis. We also have the infrared the microscope. It allows the diagnosis of uh, acute renal failure when you have crystal depositions. This is a, a new field of research. For the treatment of benign prostatic obstruction in our unit, we have available basically every technique. We use the classical rejection, uh, mean rejection monopolar or bipolar. We also use the green light laser. We treat the patients who are at risk of bleeding. We think it's the best indication for photovaporization with green light laser. We have conducted a specific work with the PVP laser to try to set up a protocol to minimize the risk of ejaculatory disorders after surgery. We succeed in two out of three cases. When we saw that this technique was possible with the minimal complication rate, we decided to introduce the day case surgery protocol um, that consists in treating our patient in the morning. The patient goes away at home with the catheter and a nurse is coming the day after in the morning and removes the catheter. The second common clinical situation is the management of men with prostate hypertrophy and increase of the blood PSA level. The computational integration of genomic profiling, functional imaging or clinical data allow us to provide for the patient decision for prostate biopsy or individual suggestion for therapeutic management of the prostate cancer. The first step for this kind of study is to collect samples. This is done through the consultation in the Department of Urology. All samples are associated to clinical data and familial data in order to search for genes mutated in hereditary form of uh, urological cancer, for example. These biological samples are used uh, in order to perform different types of uh, genomic analysis, uh, such as uh, genotyping, sequencing, methylation uh, profiling, 
all this analysis will allow to establish a personalized genomic profile from each patient. The development of 3D imaging or fusion image in order to modelize individual anatomy before surgery is also a new approach of personalized medicine. The gold standard for treatment of small renal masses is the partial nephrectomy. When your patient presents a small cortical and exophytic mass, the laparoscopic approach is an optimal indication. During the intervention, we dissect and clamp the renal artery before the excision of tumor. This kind of intervention remains associated with technical difficulty. Before each intervention, we evaluate the renal vascularization with a CT scan reconstruction. With this management, we can reduce the morbidity intraoperative. This is a CT scan with contrast injection at arterial phase with a multiplanar and three-dimensional reformat. We show the renal artery anatomy of the patient and especially the number of renal artery and their segmentation. This information is important for the surgeon to planify his intervention. The integration of technology for precision medicine in the practice allow us to improve medical efficiency, to eliminate unnecessary risk and reduce the cost of healthcare management.